Ready? Hi, I'm Miss Glazer, and this is my classic auto complete interview. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm Miss Glazer, and this is my classic auto complete interview. Why did Miss G come back to Townsend? Well, I wanted to be a teacher. Want to be a teacher. That is my career <laughs> choice. And I think that there's just no better place to do this. You know, the kids are great. I was one of them. We're pretty great. And the school itself is just a very great community. And it's a forever community. How did Miss G dress in high school? Literally the same. There are many days that I am wearing clothing that I did wear in high school. My wardrobe has not changed. It has mainly expanded, but the genre has stayed the same. Did Miss G ever have a boyfriend at Townsend Harris High School? I'm going to take this question at literal face value and say no, not at Townsend Harris High School. And I will leave it at that. Is Miss G a good singer? Well, you can all hear my speaking voice. And it only gets worse from here. How does Miss G deal with her students? That's such a negative question. I don't have to deal with any of them. You guys are funny. It's kind of just about laughing. And you kind of just keep laughing. And hope for the best. But for the most part, there's nothing to really deal with. Um, do your homework, though. Who was Miss G's favorite teacher in high school? So, my favorite teacher goes along with my favorite class, which was Mr. Scardino and AP Government and Economics my senior year. Um, I've never learned more in my life than in that class. And it was just like a very fun class, you know? It was like a good group of people, great with Scardino, great with the class in general, and it was senior year. Why is Miss G the best A-push teacher? Well, let me count the ways. No, I'm not the best A-push teacher. I'm just one of them. But it's me because I have the best students. Okay, so enough about me. Moving on to teachers at Townsend in general. Okay, so teachers at THHS. Here are the top search results. Oh. <laughs> Do teachers have favorite students? No. Not in the traditional sense that you're thinking in. There's not just like that one student that is like your absolute favorite that you're going to grade 100, have everything perfect on. If you work hard and if you put in the effort, then everybody could be a teacher's favorite student. Do all teachers like each other? That's such a high school question to ask. Here's the deal. The real world is not about liking each other. As long as you can maintain respect for one another, that's more important. Yes, all of the teachers respect each other. But at Townsend, all the teachers also happen to like each other. It's a great place. Do teachers complain about their students? This is less of a question about teachers and more about don't give us stuff to complain about. <laughs> so, no, because you're all great, right? There's nothing to complain about. Oh. Okay, why do teachers take so long to grade? Because the assessments that you do are not just waste of time. The amount of time that you put into them is also the amount of time that we put into making sure that you're actually getting something out of the assessments. It's not just busy work. It's ways to see where you are along the process and how we can then help you. And also, I have 165 of the exact same thing to grade. A lot. What do teachers do in the summer? Well, teachers in the summer actually have lives. Either you have a family that you're with, um, you have friends outside of the building. Personally, I work at a sleepaway camp that I've been going to since I was a kid. So that's what I do over the summer. Um, but it's kind of like, what do you guys do over the summer? It's what we do too. Do teachers like homework. We like homework when you actually get something out of it. The idea of homework is not just to have you go home and have something to do. But like in general. <laughs> Look, nobody wants to do extra <laughs> homework. 
<laughs> it's true. But again, it's all about seeing the value of the work. Lastly, why are teachers important? Teachers are a, a wealth of resources in many different ways. Not only do we have expertise in particular subject areas that can prepare you for later in life and that can allow you to have a well-rounded education at this stage in your life, but we're also just the people that spend a considerable amount of time with you during the day. Not only do you have your parents to look to, but you also have teachers to look to and to ask questions to and to look for guidance from. And it's not just teachers, it's anybody in the school building. We get to know you over your time at school and it's a relationship that you form that's not just a matter of this is what you need to know and you getting what you need to know. Thanks again, I'm Miss Glazer and thanks for watching my classic autocomplete interview. Now go do your history homework. I'm gonna read diligently.